Hello, people of God. I titled this video, Allow Me to Bless You, Please, because there are certain things that you can't miss out in this very month of September. The Lord is going to open many doors. He's going to give you a spiritual blessings. The Lord is going to bless you in prosperity. The Lord is going to give you healing. The Lord is going to save family members. The Lord is going to do unbelievable things in this month of September. And one of the reasons that I haven't been making videos is that people don't want to hear that the Lord is not coming just yet. And I get it. I've been there. But I have the privilege, and which I'm not worthy of, that the Lord has revealed to me that His coming, although it's very soon, it is not just yet. There is an extreme blessing that is coming to the church to prepare the church for the days ahead. For the church will see Nibiru right in the sky and we will go through the days of darkness before the rapture. We will go through a couple of events that are very scary, but we will be protected. And one of the things the Lord wants to do is to prepare the church and the church is going to receive the wealth transfer and it happened in the book of exodus when the israelites were about to leave egypt they received a wealth transferred from the egyptians the lord said go and ask for gold and jewelry and everything and they gave him everything and they left egypt very rich And it's going to happen again. The Lord is going to give us a wealth transfer. The, the Lord is going to prepare us. That we may find refuge. That we may be able to feed the needy. The, the, the people that will be uh, starving. And that we'll be able to supply the needs of the people. That we may be able to use this blessing that the Lord is going to give us. To invest in the kingdom of God. In our reward. And that is why when you receive this blessing, you cannot let it go to your head because it is given to you for you to invest it in your own reward in heaven, to invest in the kingdom of God, to do with it what the Lord would have done, feed the poor, help the needy. And all this blessing that is coming is massive. The Lord is going to be multiplying the spiritual gifts. The Lord is going to give... Uh, prosperity. The Lord is going to give healings to people who are, are in need of healings, and the Lord is going to bless the church in an amazing way. And I don't want you to miss out, because this is happening in this very month, where the important Feast of Trumpets, uh, Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, the most important day in the Jewish religion, and the Feast of Tabernacles are in this month of September. That is why We need to be ready, praying like you've never prayed before, to receive these unbelievable blessings, which I can testify that I have already been given some of this blessing and is coming even more. The Lord said to me uh, amazing stuff, and uh, they're happening as we speak in my life. I am a witness of it. And I tell you, I want to show you stuff that the Lord showed to me in the scriptures about the seventh king. How did the Lord put the seven skin Donald J. Trump in the scriptures? And how did he number uh, him twice in a seventh position? For example, he is in the seventh book of the Bible. And then again, counting from that one on the seventh book of the Bible again. He's initially in 1 Corinthians as the last Trump, and then he is in 1 Thessalonians as the Trump of God. One of the things the Lord showed me is that in the first one, he is the last Trump. He was not converted yet. But in the second one, he is the Trump of God because there will be a conversion of Donald Trump to the God Almighty. He will be born again. And the prophecy of King Clement that he came into the White House singing hallelujah, shouting hallelujahs and giving glory to God and filled with the Holy Spirit is going to be a fact. He will be born again. And this man 
is going to complete a short space and he is linked to the rapture of the church. He is the trump of God. It will be as his time frame ends that we actually leave. And he's about to be back in the White House this very year. And it has been prophesied by several prophets that their prophecies have been proven over and over again that he will be back this year. And I knew that by the scriptures that this guy we have in the White House now will be nullified as if he never was. This Manchurian candidate will be eliminated. You need to know that he is the Manchurian candidate because so far he hasn't even made his first decision yet. Someone else, and we know whom he is, a.k.a. the sixth king that becomes the eighth, the Antichrist, Barry Sowitoro, Barack Obama, he's running the show. He's actually ruling from behind the curtains. And he is the one that has been making all these decisions about Afghanistan and everything else. He's the one running the show. Uh, Joe Biden, his brain is completely shot. He's the Manchurian candidate being manipulated head to toe, 100%. And he hasn't made a single decision yet. He will be removed. And the seventh king... Donald J. Trump, the Trump of God, he will be back this very year. And we will go through this timeline. The Bible calls the three years blessing. And I know that you don't want to hear it, that you want to hear that we're living now, we're living now, we're living now, we're living in December. But I'm going to tell you right now, we're not living just yet. The Lord is going to bless us in an enormous way that we may be able to prepare for what's coming, the shaking of the heavens and the stuff that are happening as we speak. But the Lord is going to keep the ones that are His. The Lord is going to keep the church. You don't need nothing to fear about what's coming because the Lord is going to bless us in abundance. Although our exit of this world is going to be forced upon us just as it was In the book of Exodus with Israel coming out of Egypt, we will be forced out of this world. That is actually when the Lord will take us out, but not before a few events take place. And I am sorry that many of you don't want to even pray about it because you are completely locked down in we're living, we're living, even though date after date fails. And I've been there. I totally understand. I get it. I get it. But I have the privilege and the joy that the Lord has revealed to me what's actually in the pike, what's coming, that is not imminent as we think the coming of the Lord as in September or December. No, that we're actually going to go through the short space of the seventh king as soon as he returns now. The Bible says he must continue a short space. And the rapture is linked to his name. The only two portions of the Bible, the Word of God mentions trumpet as Trump. The last Trump, the Trump of God. He is in the Bible in a number seven. Now you can check the books. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, and then 1 Corinthians. And then you start there again, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, um, Ephesians, Philippians, then Colossians, and then 1 Thessalonians for the seventh book again. The first, seventh, and then counting from that one, seven books again. The first seven books, and then counting from the seventh book, another seven books. Seven and seven. The last Trump, unconverted Donald Trump, the Trump of God, a converted to the Lord Jesus Christ, Donald Trump, on his second term. And this is what it's in the pike. The Lord is coming, but before he comes, he's going to bless the church And the seventh king will continue his short space. During that time, we are going to see 
most of Matthew 24 being fulfilled, the shaking of the heavens, which we haven't seen yet. It's actually in the coming soon. And we need to be prepared for it because we will need to hide in refuges, in places underground, in places that the Lord will prepare as sanctuaries when Nibiru shows up. It's going to be a scary thing. And the Lord will bless us for us to actually be able to, for us to be able to hide. Also, we need to buy food. We need to store a lot of food for the coming times. It's going to get ugly. Don't say the Lord didn't tell you. I'm telling you right now, you need to buy food. We're not living just yet. And this is something the Lord has shown me clearly. The Lord spoke to me in an unbelievable way. And then he blessed me. He fulfilled the word that he gave me in an amazing way. And he told me that much more is coming. And that this word was not only for me, it was for the people of God. And you need to understand that the Lord wants to bless you this month. Be praying for the economic blessing, for your healing. Be praying for your spiritual gifts that you, that you want to receive because the Lord is going to give it to you. The Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to bless you in Jesus' name. He wants to bless you. So you need to go and reach out. Be in prayer. Sanctify yourself. Be sick in God like never before because the blessing will be given this very month of September. You will receive the blessing of God in an amazing way. And you don't want to miss out. You don't want to be this kind of unbeliever after you've been told what's coming and not prepare for it, not reach out and get your blessing. So the three years blessing, it's upon us. Started this month. It already started right on your Rosh Hashanah. The three years blessing, and it's going to be upon us, upon the people of God, the ones that are truly serving the Lord, the ones that are truly walking in holiness. Even if you have been weak, even if you have been, you know, sinning and, you know, you repent, you've fallen, but, but you love Jesus, just repent and move on. Serve the Lord the way the Lord wants you to serve Him in obedience to the Word of God. Obey the Lord and be blessed by the Lord. The Lord wants to give it to you. He wants to give it to you. He wants to bless you abundantly. And this is for you to reach out. It's happening this very month. This very month is happening. And you need to be prepared for it. Now, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you're still in time to repent of your sins and accept the Lord Jesus as your only Lord and Savior, because that is what He is, the Lord and Savior of the human race. He came and died for us in the Calvary cross, and He shed His blood that we don't have to be sacrificed, that we don't have to be killed, but He offered Himself as a lamb to the slaughter, and he shed his precious blood that you may have eternal life by accepting the sacrifice that he did for you, by repenting of your sins, by converting your soul to his holy name. Repeat this with me. Jesus Christ, I surrender to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. Wash my sins away and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Until next time, God bless you all. Shalom.